Today, we're taking a look at a new arrival, the 2024 X5 M60i. This is the full LCI for the X5 chassis. So we got completely new front bumper, headlights, tail lights, interior's got the new iDrive A curved display screen, and I'm gonna show you guys everything on this car. This car is pretty much fully loaded. We got premium excellence package, we got M Sport Pro package, we got advanced driver's assistance package, we got upgraded wheels and a bunch of other things. So let's get into it. Brooklyn Gray is the exterior color of this vehicle. M Sport Pro package is gonna give you the high gloss black kidney grill, the red M Sport brakes, the shadow line tinted headlights, all going to be part of that M Sport Pro package. So you can see we have this whole new front bumper. We have all new redesigned headlights, which have these two little curves like arrow heads on there. And those are also your turn signals as well. With the shadow line, it's all darker around the edges and inside. The high gloss black exterior content has a matte black surround versus last year's. We have the full pretty much M X5 M competition uh, kidney girl slats, but these are the old ones because the new ones are going horizontal on the X5 M. Uh, LCI so it's a little bit different from the full M we have a lot more black bumper trim with this whole redesigned front bumper one thing I like on the X5 M60i compared to the X6 M60i is we actually have a little bit of body paint along the bottom on the X6 there's no body paint on that lower bumper it's just pure black the whole way down and only paint on the sides. Very, very minimal here, but at least we have a little bit. There's a lot of black bumper content that's carrying down. You'll notice that giant radar sensor there for the active advanced driver's assistance package. Now that is enhanced this year. You can now be hands-free while you're driving on the highway up to 130 kilometers per hour, which, you know, compared to 60, that is a big jump up compared to the last generation of that system. We also have the M mirror caps on the side here. So we now have black M mirror caps on the M60 variant. And it's even called the M60 variant, not the M50 variant, because we now have the S68 engine in there. So let's hop inside, show you guys a quick sneak peek of that curved iDrive 8 display screen. But since we're talking about the engine, let's pop the hood and show you guys the new S68 engine. So a 2023 X5 M50 would have had the N63 engine. This is the S68 engine. So it's got the S engine code of being an M engine, but it's still 523 horsepower. But this engine is capable of so much more. It's just tuned to the level of the vehicle that is put in. You still see the air to water intercoolers. Now it is a 4.4 liter reverse flow V8. So the turbos are sitting right underneath that uh, engine cover there. What a monster. All right, let's close the hood. Before we go back on the inside, we've got to talk a little bit about the back. Oh yeah, they also gave us these new side air vents with the M60 logo. These are the $1,000 upgrade for the 742 black 22 inch wheels. Those red M Sport brakes underneath there. 315 wide at the back. Then we have the redesigned taillights. More aggressive arrow shape patterning. Let's hit the unlock button. Light, light them up for you. Pretty cool. The badges are now done in chrome instead of cerium gray. The M60, the redesigned rear bumper, different tail lights, exhaust tips. And this one does have the trailer hitch package. Let's take a look at the trunk area. Now inside the vehicle, almost everything has stayed the same. The seats are the exact same. It's still built on the same chassis. Privacy covers here. We have the dual tailgate design storage compartment underneath here you can also take your privacy cover and tuck it away and then when you're ready to close both of them let's clip this top button right there and it closes both of them now in the interior we have the black merino leather starting the back seats i noticed a couple differences on the lci compared to last year's model of course this one has the rear sun shades the carbon fiber trim one thing I noticed is the travel comfort seats have a different cover over here for the accessory port and the USB-C, where the USB-C was always visible before, and uh, it was just the port that opened up. But now if you want that charger, you got to open up the whole thing. So that's one change I noticed on the travel comfort seats. Beautiful merino leather. I always love the stitching in merino leather. We have rear climate control zone. 
with the rear heated seats. Now, this is not a standard feature anymore. You have to upgrade in the package, but this one's excellent, so it has it. And we also have two additional USB-C ports at the very bottom here, which weren't there last year. Let's take a look on the interior. We have the Harman Kardon sound system. There is a Bowers and Wilkins diamond surround system that you can upgrade to for another $6,000 pretty much. M Sport pedals. One thing I did notice is this light panel here has changed. It's a little bit different. And this button will actually bring up a menu in the iDrive 8. Click that again. And that brings up the exterior lighting menu. Now this iDrive 8 massive curved display screen. The M Sport steering with the tri-color stitching on it. We have carbon fiber trim. We have glass application shifter. Let's take a look at these premium merino leather seats before we hop on the inside. Small badge here for the BMW individual. And then we have the Sky Lounge sunroof. It's hard to see, but see all those little dots in the sunroof? Those are LED lights. So let's hop in here. We're gonna activate that push button start. To get some AC going because it's a pretty hot day. And speaking of AC, the climate menu is different. And it always tells you if you want to find a gas station. Climate menu is now into the iDrive system with iDrive 8. Instead of having your physical buttons here before, like on the last year's model, it is now inside the iDrive 8 menu. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, everything is put in here. We have a lot less buttons. I don't know why we couldn't keep the heated steering wheel button there though. This new LED light strip, it's pretty cool with the M. Carbon fiber trim, the trim in the dashboard is so much larger, carries all the way over. That is one big upgrade, especially with carbon fiber trim. Carbon fiber trim comes all the way down here. Different transmission shifter, so toggle down, toggle up for reverse, P for park, instead of having that big shifter stick. Engine start, sport, comfort, eco mode, auto H, electronic parking brake, and you still have your iDrive controller or you can go through the touch screen. Main menu, you can customize these tiles, move them around where you want. Going into your sub menus, it's kind of like a cell phone, everything looks like an app now. Interior lighting has been enhanced. We have way more colors to choose from than we did with iDrive 7. Only do it now though in comfort mode. When you're in eco, it's always blue. When you're in sport, it goes red. And you can only customize your ambient lighting when you're in comfort, which is interesting because last year iDrive 7 did make a difference, but more more colors. I personally like the turquoise. And uh, let's see, any other menus that are important? I mean, you can go through safety systems. The safety systems are a lot more customizable. Uh, there's a lot more that you can do to it compared to iDrive 7. Safety system, but the same pre-collision, lane departure warning, blind stop monitoring, side collision, uh, pretty much the same, but just you can customize it more. We now have iconic sound, so you can turn off the noise plumbing in through the speakers. You can now turn that off with iDrive 8. Yeah, just, I don't want to get too deep into iDrive 8. I just want to give you guys a quick look here. The gauge cluster is customizable. Now, by hitting this button, you can go through different content that you'll see here. You can go through different layouts. I like this one for comfort because this one's the eco one, and this one's the sport mode. And you can customize what you see for that head-up display projection. Yeah, I don't want to go too deep in it, but that's pretty much it. That's uh, pretty much highlights everything for the iDrive 8. Shut this vehicle off. We'll exit out. So yeah, if this vehicle is for sale, so if you're in the Toronto Marketplace and you're looking for an X5 M60, yeah, this is the first one that's landed, first one that's available. So feel free to reach out to me on my email down below and I'll help you guys out on the sales side. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys appreciate this BMW content. Like I said, if you're in the Toronto Marketplace, feel free to reach out to me. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys with the next video.